One challenge to full autonomy is dealing with the uncertainty and variability that are present in many tasks. For example, here during a layup task, while the system is able to perform the majority of the task using a simple autonomous policy, the system introduces and fails to address one large wrinkle. We propose an alternate approach to full autonomy, where instead a user provides real-time corrections to an autonomous behavior. For example, when a similar wrinkle forms, the user reverses the execution and performs another pass with a corrected trajectory and additional force to ensure the wrinkle is removed. In this work, we present a method for addressing variability in tasks called corrective shared autonomy. In this method, users provide real-time corrections to any relevant robot state variable to address uncertainty in the task. We present an implementation focused on tasks involving physical interaction where users can provide corrections to positions, forces, surface coordinates, and execution rate using a three degree of freedom haptic device. We also discuss considerations including representation, input mapping, and user input validation. We conduct a user study where six participants complete a series of tasks situated in aircraft manufacturing. These tasks include inserting rivets into designated fastener locations on a cowling, polishing the exterior of the cowling, and layup of a vinyl adhesive to a surface resembling a wing curvature. In the fastener task, Participants provide small kinematic corrections to counter injected alignment error that would likely be present in real tasks from the registration process. In the polishing task, participants apply additional force to buff out simulated defects on the surface. And in the layup task, participants can reverse the execution, modify surface coordinates, and apply additional force to counter wrinkles, similar to the example shown earlier. We compare our method to both manually doing the tasks and a divisible shared control policy where the user commands position and the desired orientation is inferred based on the closest surface. We show that our method tended to have lower user input time compared to the divisible shared control method. Compared to the manual method, users tended to have comparable input time for the riveting and polishing tasks and tended to have less input time for the longer layup task. We believe this time could be used for secondary tasks or controlling multiple robot setups in the future. We also show that users tended to report lower physical demand and effort using corrective shared autonomy compared to the two other methods. In summary, we present corrective shared autonomy, a method for addressing variability in tasks via real-time corrections to any relevant robot state variables required to fix errors. We present an implementation focused on physical interaction and providing corrections to positions, forces, surface coordinates, and execution rate via a three degree of freedom haptic device. And finally, we conducted a user study to assess the viability of our corrective shared autonomy implementation.